Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about everything we know so far about the supposed next Grand Theft Auto Online DLC, as well as a few hints and clues that I think Rockstar have left on their Newswire posts that might actually indicate when we, won, might be receiving some information in terms of possibly a release or a trailer or screenshots, and then the actual release of the DLC itself. So to give you guys a quick reminder, and I'm not going to harp on this for long because I know we've talked about it and you you probably already seen this before. So there were five scripts found for the biker DLC. The first, which was personal mod garage. And then the next four are all related to biker things, biker bad deal, biker initiation, biker joust, biker rescue contact, and then vehicle export. So we don't really know what those are going to be. There's been some indication that those are going to be free mode events and that the personal mod garage will give us the ability to maybe modify our own personal garages. So that sounds extremely cool. And then we got more information from Yan about two weeks ago who stated that the next Grand Theft Auto Online update will be motorcycle theme. It's currently scheduled for August and will have a sixth property. So now that you know that information, let's move over to Rockstar's Newswire. And like I said, there have been many hints that you might not have even known about that could indicate when the next, I guess, available information or announcement or even possible release of this update could happen. So on June 16th, 2016, Rockstar announced the CEO Rockstar Editor Contest, which was basically Rockstar's way of trying to do some of the cool finance and felony stuff. You could create a cool piece of cinematography or a short film or movie. Using the Rockstar Editor, you could win some pretty cool prizes. The entry for that is long closed. It happened on July 18th, 2016. However, that's not what's important. What's interesting is when Rockstar states they're going to decide on a winner. So on the Newswire, all it states is that the winners will be announced later in the summer. However, there's a line at the very end of the Newswire that says, see rockstargames.com slash social club slash events and contest for official rules and eligibility details. So I clicked on that, and if you go there, you'll actually find that under winners list and rules request, it states a list of winners will be posted at the Rockstar Games social club slash events no later than August 18th. 2016, and they would be posted there until September 18th, 2016. Now, Rockstar also stated that the winners of each one of these prizes, there's three total prizes, will be featured here on the Newswire. So what that confirms is there's going to be a Newswire post for the CEO contest winner, and that the earliest this could happen is August 18th. So basically what I think this means is we're not going to be getting any information until August 18th. And I certainly and obviously don't believe nothing regarding this DLC is going to happen until August 18th. Now that date, August 18th, is kind of interesting because that's also when Rockstar's current event week is going to end. This is executive protection bonuses, which is going on through the 12th through the 18th. So I think that would be the first day where we should really look for maybe some information information to be provided. That could be extremely cool right there. And another thing that was brought up by Rockstar on the Newswire is the fact that it looks like they're going to be doing another contest very similar to that. So when they announced the Stunt Race creator, they stated, and stay tuned for details on our first official Rockstar Verified Stunt Race contest happening very soon. So they state it's happening very soon, which means they're likely going to announce that as well. So I'm not sure if they would want to get that out of the way before the next DLC comes out or if Rockstar's totally cool with kind of, you know, intermingling those two contests because they announced the CEO contest and that was going kind of well into when Cunning Stunt come out. So I think that they have no problem with that, but that is still going to be very interesting to see, you know, how Rockstar deal with these few contests announcing the winners and when that might have an impact on the August release. Now, we obviously don't know that the August release is official, but that's of course just what everyone is saying. However, time in August is slowly running out if you really think about it and the likely days that Rockstar would announce this. They typically create DLCs on Tuesdays, and there's only three more Tuesdays left in August. You have the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. Now, that's kind of an interesting segue into what I want to talk about next. A few users on the GTA forums were talking about this. There's actually a very interesting holiday. It's not a major one at all, and we might be prepared to put our tinfoil hats on here. So August 23rd, which is a Tuesday that I mentioned, is Ride in the Wind Day. 
And this website, which is some holiday site, says that here are some great ways to enjoy riding in the wind. One of them is take a motorcycle ride. Now, I know, like I said, that sounds total tinfoil hat crazy person here, but we've actually seen Rockstar do this in the past where they've released DLCs on certain holidays. In fact, I think that the uh, San Andreas Flight School update was released on like National Aviation Day or National Airplane Day or something like that. So we've actually seen Rockstar do this. And while I don't believe there's an official motorcycle holiday in August, I guess ride the wind day, you could associate that with riding a motorcycle. So once again, that is a total tinfoil hat play right there. And that's just purely just something I thought was incredibly interesting. Um, and to give you guys my final verdict, I have no clue if something is going to happen in August because I don't know if Rockstar considers the stunt race creator the August DLC because technically it wasn't. It was just updated via tunables. So if you think about it, and if you can see my air quotes here, we technically haven't gotten a DLC in August. So would that open up the door for this biker themed update? I think it might actually, but like I said, time is running out in August. So I don't really know what Rockstar is going to do and if they have enough time to uh, obviously get a trailer out, get an announcement out, because for the last few DLCs, which is what Rockstar have done, there's always been an announcement, there's always been information, a trailer. We saw that with Lowriders Customs Classics, Finance and Felony, the Cunning Stunts DLC. So I would imagine that this biker DLC would be no exception, and they would be doing something very similar. But ultimately, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think the release date is going to be of the next Grand Theft Auto Online DLC, the supposed biker? one and let me know what you think about some of my theories as well regarding some of the hidden information found on the newswire and also some of the hidden things found on rockstar's websites as well let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you did go on to enjoy this video however though a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this i've got a live stream coming up in a few hours so stick around for that we're going to be doing some awesome races here on the channel so that should be a lot of fun but of course without the way guys like i said thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.